Hi guys, somebody had requested a little tutorial on how to get your downloaded zip files from being zipped to over to Canvas. So we're going to do that right now. Okay, um, I was just at a very popular place <laughs> to get uh, free downloads, paid downloads, all that good stuff um, for us to use with our scan and cuts. Um, some people do forget sometimes where their downloads go. Um, I have a Windows 7 system. So what I can do is I th there's a little arrow here. I can click on that. It says show in folder. And what that does is it brings it up and it is right here highlighted. I come up here and I look and it's in Gen Downloads. Okay. I have a downloads folder right here. So that's where I know that's how I know where it's at. Okay. I can right click on this and I have what's called WinRAR right here. That is my unzipper. I like it because it comes up in my right click options list. So what I do is I click it's extract here. Okay and it says it already exists because I already did this ahead of time so um, I'm just going to click that. Um, so that is how you unzip your thing. Um, a lot of people use, I think it's called 7-Zip. Um, I'm not familiar with how that works. Um, but like I said, I really like this WinRAR. Um, so we're going to come into Canvas and we're going to pick up this lace trimmed square zip thing. Okay. And it is an SVG because that's where we downloaded it from. It was an SVG file. I don't want snowflakes. Okay, so let's see, lace doily. Oops. And what I what I will do a lot of times is I will actually rename the files so that I can find them really really quick. Okay, so here are both of our doilies, the lace frame and the lace trim square. So we're just going to click on double click on this one. Click OK. and there it comes up. Okay, And a lot of these you need to remember is they come packaged up when they're in their zip um, folders, when they're all zipped up. So what that means is inside of there can be three, four, five, sometimes a lot more different parts. Um, so you kind of try to keep your eye on where they go and you know what they are, but that's how you do it. So that is how you get your zipped file over to Canvas. Any other questions, just drop me a line. Thanks.